Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chi, and I wanted to share with you guys my holy grail, my ride or die makeups, um, also skincare. So if you want to see what those are, continue watching. Welcome guys, let's talk about my holy grail. We're going to start with the skincare. So I have the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Gel. This is a really good cleanser. Now, this cleanser, um, it does help diminish the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, pores, and other signs of aging. It says that it is ideal for all skin types except sensitive, including dry, normal, combination which I have um, oily and sun damage now what I've noticed with this I every time I cleanse my face with this I experience less breakouts um, the appearance of my skin is a lot smoother um, the way that it feels is yeah if you haven't tried this try it they do have a trial size I believe at Ulta and Sephora let's talk glam glow <laughs> so i'm not sure if you can see that no there we go okay so the hollywood california glam glow super mud clearing treatment mask this mask is so good like I don't really like the smell, but it is so good at clearing your, like if you have any breakouts, it definitely clears out your breakouts in the matter of hours. I see pimples reduce dramatically after um, using this mask. And also I occasionally get blackheads on my nose area just here. And every time that I use it and wash this off, it's like, blackheads, where? You know, when I'm done with this video, I will be removing this makeup. But the my most favorite makeup remover slash cleanser would be the Garnier Skin Active. It is the uh, cleansing water. Definitely a favorite. It is for all skin types, even sensitive skin. And my sensitive areas is my eyes. But this is so good at removing anything uh, stubborn. So if you have like a uh, waterproof mascara, it will definitely get that off in a matter of seconds. It is alcohol free, oil free, and fragrance free. So let's move on to my favorite primers I think you guys already know my most favorite primer of all is the touch and soul no pore blem primer now this is something that I will continue to purchase this is my holy grail now it doesn't I wouldn't say this makes me matte because it doesn't. It doesn't claim to make you matte, I don't believe. No, it doesn't have any claims of making you matte or it does smooth out your uh, foundation. So it's a good base for your foundation. Um, as you can see, like my foundation is flawless thanks to this. It's like, have you seen the movie Color Purple? I will definitely never part with this. <laughs> okay, and let's move on to a uh, drugstore primer. That works just as good, um, which is the Baby Skin, and it is the Instant Pore Eraser. Now I found out with this Maybelline um, primer, it doesn't work well with every foundation. I've tried this with the Maybelline um, foundation and it works really, really well with that, the Superstay. But when I use it with other 
high-end foundation I don't know it just it seems like it doesn't react the same way now let's move on to concealers so my favorite high-end concealer would have to be the NARS radiant creamy concealer now I got this in the shade medium to ginger and I mainly use this to highlight so it's a couple shades lighter than my complexion it's so rich and creamy I definitely love this um, I would say it is a medium buildable coverage love 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 this but if you want it like a drugstore uh, concealer that's really really good I would go with the makeup revolution now this one is super super full coverage so this is the applicator and I know it's compared to the Tarte shape tape a lot but this is very very good like I'm in the shade C8 and I will not ever purchase <laughs> the Tarte shape tape because that is what 23 20 something dollars while this is seven bucks and it works just as good why get something that pricey um, <laughs> when I can go with this but this is super super full coverage it's rich it's creamy it's not matte um, but I feel like it does have like a matte finish once it dries down um, not super matte to where it looks cakey or anything but definitely does dry down to like a matte kind of a finish we're going to move on to my holy grail fine foundations so i have two that would be my top two for um high end and it would be the dior skin and that's the one that i have on now it's so pretty like the dior skin forever I really really like now this has a matte finish but it's a comfortable matte it's not dr over drying um, it doesn't feel heavy it's very lightweight um, I'm not sure if it says transfer proof but when I do touch my face I kind of I do feel it so I'm not gonna lie I do feel it yeah I feel it. I don't believe that it's transfer proof, but I'm not sure if it has those claims as well. But this is super, super nice. It's so beautiful. Like the finish, it will make your skin look so flawless. It's so pretty. And I think it has sunscreen and it's um, everlasting wear, pore refining effect. And I feel like this does smooth out my pores as well and um uh, yeah like girl just go and get it if you want to splurge splurge on this now i do have another high end that i absolutely love as well and can you guys guess what it is of course it's the cover effects and i am in this shade g50 now this foundation it is a matte finish but like i mentioned before with the other foundation it is a comfortable matte so it's not super drying or anything like that and it does look like skin the only con that i have about this particular foundation is unlike all my other foundation this one settles into my smile line so when i take pictures and i have this foundation on i do notice my smile lines as opposed to with the Dior when I take pictures everything looks flawless I don't see any smile lines I'm smiling now and I wouldn't see anything so um, with this one I definitely see it but the finish the coverage everything about the undertone which is mine I go for a yellow undertone super super good so i would highly recommend that you give this a try i think this retails for 44 dollars she's a bit pricey but worth it now for drugstore foundations the maybelline 
So I have the shade 312 Golden and the shade 310 Sun Beige. Now I mixed the two to get my perfect shade because the 310 Sun Beige, it has like a weird undertone. I'm not sure what it is, but hmm. It kind of grays me out, so I'm not sure if it's like an olivey type of an undertone, but yeah. So I mix it with the 312 Golden. Now the undertone is yellow for this foundation. The only thing about it is it's darker. So it does give me like that tan. I would have to highlight a lot if I was to just use this alone but the coverage on here is so good it's super full coverage so if you're looking for something that is um affordable but still provides a really good coverage i would definitely go with these now i want to say around four hours i tend to get oily and i would have to touch up with the uh, dior skin that i have on now i don't have to touch up until about seven hours later so just a comparison now it says that it is fade and transfer resistant i haven't tested out the transfer resistant part but this does stay all day so um i wouldn't say 24 hours because i haven't tested that out but a full work day it does stay it didn't separate or anything like that so i would go with these so I have the Nudes Maybelline. Now this is something that's really pretty and very uh, affordable. So if you're looking for something that's like super affordable, your neutrals, I would go with this. Like this is something that I reach for um, during the work week and definitely a holy grail drugstore. Now, if you are not on a budget <laughs> or you want to splurge on something, I would splurge on this. The Soft Glam uh, Anastasia Be Beverly Hills uh, palette. So beautiful. So what the shades that I have on now would be the Dusty Rose, Rose Pink, and Soul Tree. So it is very pigmented, as you can see. Um, the formula is really, really well. I feel like the only one that gives a lot of fallout, even though I haven't tried Rustic and Noor, but everything else, um, it seems like it has a really good formula, but Dusty Rose has a lot of fallout. I'm already hitting pan, <laughs> so. Um, that's something to keep in mind, but this is a great, great, awesome buy. I would highly recommend this because you can do something so simple as this. I only use three shades or you can go full glam. So I would definitely recommend this. Now, if you are on a budget, but you want a good deal, you don't want to purchase multiple palettes, but you know that you are a neutral girl like myself, I would recommend the Morphe. So the Morphe palette, um, this is in 3502. And I'm going to show you guys these shades if you haven't seen it already. So beautiful. Okay, so these are the shades. So pretty. So, really tight budget, Maybelline. Somewhat of a budget, Morphe. No budget at all, just throw it in the bag. Soft glam. <laughs> throw it in the bag. <laughs> I would definitely pick these three. Now let's talk about favorite bronzers. My most favorite bronzer right now that I'm absolutely loving is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. Like this is, I have it on now. It is a nice natural bronzer. So this is something that I feel like you can never overdo. 
sometimes there are certain bronzers where it's like you put some on you're like oh wow yeah i put too much this no you can keep building and building honey and it will continue to stay natural looking i would highly highly recommend if you are looking for a really good drugstore get this one this is in the shade sunlight so now high end my favorite would have to be the mark jacobs and i have 102 tantric this is a very pretty natural bronze as well this is something that you can um build up it is um something that's buildable um, you could get a darker shade out of this if you wanted to but i'm if you haven't noticed now i like things that's more on the natural side of things on that natural spectrum so um but that is definitely something worth the buy it is pricey i want to say it's 50 dollars maybe or 49 dollars same thing but yeah definitely pricey but worth the buy so if you're looking to splurge on a bronzer i would definitely go with that and my highlighter that i'm just loving so much right now would have to be the wet n wild mega glow i'm not sure of the shade i was looking for the shade on here and i don't see it but it is the highlighting powder super pretty super pretty and I have that on now so if you're looking for a really good highlighter and you don't want to spend too much coins <laughs> I would go with the wet n wild mega glow super pretty okay let's move on to blush so my most favorite blush that I'm just absolutely loving right now, I did order other blushes that I want to try and when I upload a different video, I will definitely give you my thoughts on that. The Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Blush in the color Fetish is super pretty. So this gives you like a natural flush kind of a color and I do have that on now as well but I also before I was using the um, Urban Decay I was using the Sephora I think this is Sephora Micro Smooth and Tea Rose Tickle this is really pretty too so if you're looking for something and you're on a budget or you just want to have more options I would go with the Sephora or you can go with the Ulta mineral blush this is really pretty as well not sure if you can see that there we go now this is a very pretty blush if I have to pick two of my absolute favorite holy grails lipstick it would have to be the melted matte and this is in the color cool girl super pretty i'll even swatch it for you and let's see here do a little swatch it is super super pretty so this is the swatch now I also have the melted matte I have it in two different colors and I have it in the shade lady balls and this is a really pretty red it's really I'm gonna swatch it for you <laughs> the red is so pretty oh my gosh and the formula you guys is so comfortable um, it's not drying it doesn't crack up um, it's very long lasting that's why it is my holy grail but here's the swatch of the red so pretty I get so many compliments with that shade um, but those would be my 
I love the matte kind of a lipstick. Another holy grail that I'm absolutely out of. Oh, goodness. I don't even know if they have more on their website. But this is in the color Trap. And this is ColourPop. Now, I absolutely love, love, love this shade. I should have purchased like six. I'm going to... I'll see if I can do a swatch for you, but it's absolutely nothing in here. Like now with the formula for the trap, it's not very comfortable. It's very drying. So I would use something under it to make it a lot more comfortable and less drying. Okay. So. I got a little bit of a swatch. So it's this color here. And that's the color trap. Super pretty. So that color is very pretty. And anytime that I wear this, I always get someone asking me to. Right down where you get yours from, because I must admit that bubble gum is popping. Well guys, that concludes my video and I know it was probably super long. I'm sorry, but if you sticked around this long, then you are my ride or die. You are now my new bestie. <laughs> so I do appreciate you watching this video and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.